are good candidates for permanent makeup. I will tell you this, on my website, when they book, I have a pre-qualification screen. They cannot be pregnant and wanting permanent makeup. The reason why pregnant women cannot get permanent makeup is because we do not know what the permanent ink or tattoo ink will do into a bloodstream. We do not want to risk a baby. And one thing that is good to know that none of the permanent makeup lines, absolutely none of them are FDA approved. They are legal, they are vegan, they are cruelty free, but they are not FDA approved. So we do not want any pregnant woman to come to us to get a tattoo or um, use tattoo permanent makeup ink and some, God forbid, something happen and gets into their bloodstream. Also, people are susceptible to infection when they get a tattoo. So you definitely don't want to have her have an infection while she's carrying an unborn child. Just prevent it all the way and turn down any pregnant women. As far as breastfeeding, we are advised not to um, do breast breastfeeding women. Um, what I have learned is a couple of women have been really desperate because they have had a baby. They are maybe going through postpartum or not, not even postpartum. I don't even want to say that. They are, uh, their hands are full. They're just going through a lot. So what they want to do is have something low maintenance for them. So they do opt to get it. I will say this. I've done it on a couple of women. I have them sign a waiver on it and sign off on it. Um, but I also have them dump two times just to be on the safe side if they are breastfeeding uh when they leave me they need to pump and they need to pump again and they need to dump again so i tell them this days in advance to get prepared for this day because we do not want the baby to um we do not want any unexpected occurrences to happen with the baby so i advise them to dump and usually if a pregnant or i mean a breastfeeding mother goes out for alcohol the doctor will tell them to dump that's where we got the science of it from or i got the science of it from is um when a mother goes out to drink a doctor will tell them some at times some daughters not everybody's the same but we'll tell them to dump once or twice so that's where i got that from but if you could avoid them as much as possible that would probably be the best thing you it just everything's a risk even though i've never had an infection you just don't want to run the risk so just keep that in mind when um you're talking to a breastfed woman also another thing anything with acids glycolics retinols salicylic i cannot stress this enough ask them what they use in their skincare line and ask them thoroughly ask them to send you ingredients if you have to because a lot of times they'll tell you no i don't use it and then when you ask further they are some women are on steroid creams from the dermatologist this can affect the permanent makeup some women um use and let me tell you what i recently found um Noxema. I had pulled up ingredients for Noxema before and I didn't see the ingredients. One of my clients, her permanent makeup would not take. It would not take. It was rejecting the permanent makeup and it was fading out very quick, like instantly. And I kept asking her, what are you using on your face? And she kept saying soap and water, soap and water. Well, I knew deep down inside that she was using something besides soap and water. And finally, when I was like, listen, just give me what, like, tell me exactly what you put on your face, like everything. And she mentioned Noxema. When she mentioned Noxema, I Googled Noxema and Noxema does have salicylic acid in ingredients, which is why her permanent makeup was rejecting and fading so much. So always check because anything with skincare acids in it, it will reject the pigment that you are applying. So make sure you have a consultation with them. This is part of the consultation process. Now, I do not personally have a face-to-face -face consultation with anybody. I feel like time is money and I only consult them when they come in for their appointment. But if they call me or if I have time to reach out to them, I'll follow up with them to make sure. But all forms, I try my best to put all forms on the website for them to read before they even get to me. It'll save you time and it'll save them time. As much information as you put on your website so they can read and have that knowledge beforehand, it will be better for you in the long run. But you will still run into certain people who are using skincare. Also, very good to mention while we're on that subject because the girl in the in the training video that I will be uploading, 
Same thing happened with her. She didn't book online because she was a model. It was the last minute model that I needed to film this class while I had the videographer in town. Um, she is a very beautiful girl. She is very young. So usually a lot of young girls don't use a lot of products with S's in it. However, with this one, she did. And I did not catch it until we started. How do you know if they're using a skincare product when you start? Because it'll be really red and irritated and the pigment will be really hard to grab. It should only take a couple of passes before the pigment grabs. And if they are using a skincare regimen that contains any form of acids in it, it will reject it and turn red and irritated. That's how I knew that the girl was on skincare products. So that is a disclaimer for this video that you are getting ready to watch. But I have chosen to go ahead and show it to you. And here's why. Not only did I pay for the recording of it, I don't want to lose the money from it, but that's not even the most important reason why I chose to keep it. The most important reason why I chose to keep it is because this is going to be in your day-to-day -day life if you become full-time with this. You will see this. This will happen no matter how much you try to prevent it, which you want to try to prevent it as much as possible. But you will run into this. So I wanted to give you a real live situation of a young lady who is a model um, on the film who is using um, skincare products that contain acids and what exactly will happen. This is a very big portion of our industry is to... Um, consult with them to make sure they're not using certain skincare so this is something that happened and i'm going to show it to you anyway because it will happen to you in the future and at least you'll have knowledge to know what it is